My name's Tim Izzy. And I'm John Gillespie. And we're presenting course Skin Tool Academy Practical Applications and Analyses. So what are we hoping to cover in this course? We want to talk about how to form a diagnostic process, how to take information that we know, use it to find information that we don't know, and how to form a game plan that we can apply to the vehicle that's in front of us to gain as much information as possible in as short a period of time as possible to help fix the car. And this is one of the things that we want to really stress for technicians. Diagnostics isn't written in stone. You're free to be creative. And this is what we want to help you practice with this class, is how you find your own path. That is so important with today's cars. It's normal to walk up to something that you've never seen before. So you've got to have a routine that supports you when that happens. We're gonna look at how computers use logic. Everything that a computer does is based on logic. And we use logic to help solve our problems. We apply a logical thought process. That's what the computer does too. It just does it a little bit differently. We have to remember when we're dealing with a computer, computer is only as smart as the person that programmed it, which falls into our third bullet point of looking at the code set criteria. When we have a problem, all of us have been in a situation where we've got a broken car in front of us and we said, well, this problem should have set XYZ fault code and it didn't or it set a fault code that maybe we weren't expecting. Well, that's because the code set criteria the, that the problem fell into met the code set criteria for whatever fault code did set or the fault didn't meet the right criteria to set a fault code based on how the computer was programmed. And we're going to look at how we can leverage that to start to gain diagnostic direction. Yeah, we're going to look at how a generic OBD2 scan tool works and how it can work differently than a manufacturer side. You know, John, when you go up to a vehicle to start your diagnosis, are you necessarily going to go into VIN specific, manufacturer specific first, or are we going to go into global OBD2 first? And do we well, need to look at both? Yeah, and see, that gets right back to you've got to make that decision depending on the circumstances of the vehicle that you're getting ready to do diagnostics on. So it really depends on what system is being affected. Right, and we need to realize that there is a difference and we'll be talking about that difference in some ways where global OBD2 versus the manufacturer specific side of the house can help you gain direction faster. You know, think about this, you know, look Ooh. at how much stuff <laughs> is on a modern car and everything that the control module has to look at inputs and outputs to make this engine work. That's a lot on the input and the output side. And think about it. You get a trouble code. They don't tell you what failed. They don't tell you what's broke. They tell you the test that failed. So you've got to be able to find out how did the computer run the test and how can you test the same way that the computer did. So in many cases, you really have to know a lot about an individual sensor. You know, right now, do you know what IAT22 is? If you don't, then you're going to need to do some research. And what we're gonna teach you in this class is how to take this big picture and break it down into manageable chunks to get to that point where you need to be to figure out what's wrong with the car. Taking something big, using the information that we have available to us to break it down into manageable pieces so we can fix the car.